Hello, this is Gaming On Demand, and... Well, my review of Modern Warfare 2. Unfortunately, this game sucks. It says... Game over. You're not meant to kill civilians. I was shooting the bad guys. Or, or was I? I? I don't know anymore. Anyway, this is my review of Modern Warfare 2. The best FPS ever. When... You play Call of Duty. You know how to play Call of Duty. This is Modern Warfare 2. The most overhyped, over anticipated, and extremely overrated series. And this is the most hyped game in history. But it's still good, it's still perfect material. I gave Call of Duty a 9.8, Call of Duty 4, so I pick this to be a 10 out of 10. It has a single player, won't go into that, because no one actually plays a single player on these games. There's co-op, which is awesome, may I mention, and it's not just like play through the campaign with a buddy. No, it's like unique missions, like racing. You know, Nazi Zombies was wave defense, and this has wave defense. It has breach, get to point A, point B. It's like totally new and totally awesome. This is what Modern Warfare's 2 aim is about, not the multiplayer. Mind you, the multiplayer feels uniquely fresh. It doesn't feel. It adds so more compared to wah. Wow. Anyway, I seem to be really bad at this, but I was good at COD 4. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, you can have two attachments on guns. Juggernaut is no longer a perk. Neither is Martyrdom, it's a death streak. Oh yeah, there's death streaks for those people who sucks. Yes, that includes you, lonely PS3 watcher who doesn't have this. I bought the Hardened Edition because Infinity Ward deserve all the money they can get because they created Masterpiece. I would have got Uncharted 2 Special Edition, but, well, let's just say money problems. Um, I bought the Hardened Edition of this and um, in its lovely steel case, which I have here now, which is steel actual proper steel and it has a code to download Call of Duty 1 remake that the most silent release in game history ever and a nice art book very pricey feels very nice and comes in a plastic sleeve hardened edition this game has changed so much from COD 4 but apart from the perks and the customizability you would see that this is a Call of Duty game. This has more than um, Call of Duty 5 added. It adds kill streaks, death streaks, improved graphics, improved physics, everything. I mean, it's not on graphical level with Uncharted 2, say, but it is still perfect. I have had some issues, but they were only minor issues, as in like. NAT problems, but that's my root router, so... Anyway. So, you have these perks. You don't have many perks in this, but you can have upgradable perks, which has the value of two perks. So, if you add all the perks up and times by two, that's how many perks you have in this game. If that makes any sense. Which I'm sure it doesn't. Anyway. I like saying anyway. Anyway. And the stories is it's in a wider range of the uh, wider range of locales. I don't even know why I'm talking here, sitting doing a review while I'm watching Modern Warfare install on my hard drive. I should be playing it. I should be playing it right here, right now. But unfortunately, uh, I got a job to do for you guys, and this is the big review, so should be up Wednesday. I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably Wednesday. 
and um, yeah, really awesome game. And if you haven't buy it, bought it, then you are sad, because this is the best FPS ever. And you know why it's the best FPS ever? Because it's technically not an FPS. Because you can do third person, like you could in Battlefront. And having that retro nostalgia feel to Modern Warfare, combining two franchises that I deeply love, just deserves 10 out of 10. I mean, third person mode is weird, but it's unique. Has that flavor to it. Treyarch didn't do that. Mind you, I do miss Nazi zombies a little bit. But we have a greater story. Greater graphics. More variety in co-op missions. More variety in multiplayer. And you have customizable cool signs which are just like, comes up. They just rebuilt multiplayer and it is awesome. 10 out of 10. Go and buy it. Now. Or I will come over. And I will. Play it on your console. Anyway. See you on the next Call of Duty countdown review. Call of Duty 1. For the Xbox. See ya.